بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so the next thing we'll try to uh, understand the console password assignment so now we we did the console connection and we are accessing the command line of the router or the switch through the console connection now you may want the cisco router or the switch uh, should be configured with some password so that we can restrict the access to the command line via console connection uh, by default there is no restriction means anyone can simply uh, connect the console cable and you can get into the command line on the router or the switch uh, but again uh, as long as your router is physically secured basically if you are securing your router or the switch inside a rack room and where it is locked and you don't have uh, access to anyone uh, over that particular room or the rack so in that case still you know you don't need a console password but let's say uh, i want to restrict so you have a physical security where you have placed your router inside the rack and no one can access there or sometimes in your company you may have a multiple users uh, generally who who will be moving on uh, in the rack room and maybe changing making some changes so basically what i want is i want to restrict the command line of this of this one okay so it's a kind of a uh, security we can apply uh, where we are saying that if anyone is trying to enter to the to the router command line i want my router to prompt for the password and if the password uh, is given correct then only the command line should uh, should should open just like if you if you see here on my topology here and if i go to my switch command line i will exit and you can see if i try to exit and i can directly get into the command line without any passwords uh, by default there is no password so there is no password for the for the console that is a default settings but you may want to assign the password let's see how to do that but to assign the passwords uh, we need to go to the console line line console zero so again make sure that you are inside the global configuration mode and we have to specifically say on which line you want to go so there are multiple lines so here we'll be talking about console line and by default there is one console port so you will have a zero console port zero okay so that that indicates that's a uh, the only port and once we give this command we, are, we will be inside the uh, config line as you can see the mode changes here now this mode actually indicates that you are inside the line mode specific line in which line console line which means whatever the changes you apply or whatever the commands you apply here these commands will be applied only on the console line okay of course it will only accept the commands uh, which are which works in the line mode only those commands next thing we need to specify the password now let's say i decided to use a password as nwa123 let's say so we need to type in the password and make sure that when you're typing don't use space because space is also a non disturbable character so type in the password okay press enter without any spaces and once you press enter you, you again the, there is another command we need to type in something called login now login command is required to enable uh, saying that the password check should be enabled on the console line uh, whenever, whenever anyone enters enters through the console line i want the console port should be checking the password so there's nothing but uh, we can say the console authentication uh, as console authentication actually requires these two commands to be enabled and this command is going to tell the ios to prompt for the password uh, at the console line so remember you must give both the commands uh, console authentication requires both the password command as well as the login command both should be given in order uh, for the console uh, password to work you can as i said it prevents any unauthorized access from accessing the router command line okay so and we want to restrict that the persons who are not authorized uh, should not access the command line so let's see the configuration here I'll, I'll try to assign the console password for my switch so we'll go to enable and then we'll say configure terminal config t and then we'll go to line and we have multiple lines generally vty will talk about this uh, for telnet connections we use that virtual terminal 
So we'll say console and there's only one console port. You can always use question mark to see the possible options and console zero. Now, once we are inside the line mode, now we need to give the password. So the password, you can give whatever the password, like let's say I'm using NY123. So make sure that there is no space when you press enter, okay? And then we must give login, and this login is going to tell the iOS to prompt for the password on the console line. So this is compulsory again. And just to verify, we can go exit. Uh, you have to exit the console line first to verify. You can use n command. n command takes you directly from any mode to this mode, the privilege mode. Whereas exit command will take you one step back. So that's the only difference. So we can say exit. Now you are out of the router console. Now when you press any key, now you can see I'm on the console port now here. And now it is uh, asking me to enter some kind of password here. So the password, this password is your console password because I'm connecting my router on the console line. So the password I have used, small letters NY123. Again, you don't see any, any kind of asterisks or dots here, but it will type in the back end. So you don't see anything. And you can see now, once I type in the correct console password, then only I can see the first mode. So let's say if I type any wrong password, this is not going to allow me, okay? So the password is anyway one, two, three, and then enable, you can see. So this is a console password for authenticating the users, authenticating generally whoever is trying to log in on the console port. 